Hi guys and welcome to what could be my longest Sephora haul ever! Yay! <laughs> I know we should not celebrate that but I'm going to try and rush through the products. I've already put them on for you now and I've taken clips of how they went on so that you can see for yourself. I actually really like everything that I bought. This was like pretty much a first impressions haul though so I haven't used any of these products before today and I've had them for a long time. This is actually from three different Sephora hauls. So I've got the Black Friday haul, the Cyber Monday haul, and also just a random haul when they released a new product that I really wanted. And I think there was a sale, so I think I got it on a cheaper price. Honestly, some of the stuff that went on sale for the Cyber Monday haul like shocked me. Some of it was like 50% off. It was amazing. But anyway, that was months ago now. So I'm just going to show you what I got and not worry about prices or anything like that because obviously that was a sale from a long time ago. So we're just going to discuss the products. I hope that's okay with you. To start off with, I want to show you the massive ass box that they sent me my Cyber Monday sale stuff in. I think they ran out of boxes, so they sent me this huge ass box with like three things or four things inside of it. Like legitimately, I can't fit it in my screen. Like I think I could fit into this almost. Maybe if you chop me out, but still. <laughs> I reckon, yeah. No, I don't know. Well, maybe. I don't know, but like seriously, look at it. Like it's like, it's bigger than my head. <laughs> but anyway, I have had this box in my room for so long. So I am so glad that I'm finally going to be getting rid of it. With that all being said, all the important things you now know, I am going to launch straight into the products. The first product I want to talk about is a product that arrived today and came from Cult Beauty, not Sephora. At the point of recording this video, they had not stocked the brush at Sephora yet, this brush that I have been waiting for for the last few months and if you guys know much about the beauty community you will know this brush is like meant to be amazing and I'm so glad that I got it because I got last year's brush but apparently that one was different and I can definitely see how it is different and I'm just going to show you right now. So here it is, the... It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Love is the Foundation Brush, which is a limited edition brush they bring out every year. It is meant to be such an amazing foundation brush. It comes in this absolutely stunning box, which last year's it came in a tube, so I thought that was interesting, but I thought the box was a great idea because the box is recyclable, whereas the tube thing was plastic, so I don't think it was recyclable, at least not easily recyclable. And the box is super pretty as well, so that's great. And the brush is absolutely adorable if you were interested it has like these little loose sparkly hearts like super like 90s love hearts and stuff floating up and down in the water but anyway i have been waiting for this brush to come out at sephora because it came out last year at sephora around valentine's day in australia sorry i'm in australia that's why it takes me so long to get this brush but on the date that I've recorded, it still has not come out at Sephora. And I was lucky to stumble upon an article which said that it was going to be released at cultbeauty.com. So every day I went on to cultbeauty.com and checked the website to see if they had it in stock. And eventually they did. And I bought it. And it was £30, which I think I paid more money for it last year than I did this year. It was like £27 maybe. But anyway, it's absolutely adorable. It is so soft. And it put my foundation on, which I'll show you in a minute, so amazingly. And I absolutely loved it. If you wanted to see a comparison of the two brushes, this is it. So they both have super adorable love heart handles. The flat one is the last year's brush, which I actually really liked. That was my first experience of the brush though. So everyone who'd had this round top from previous years said as soon as the flat top one came out they were like no 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 that's not good enough and I'm pretty sure most of them hated this brush like I haven't really seen many good reviews of this brush except for people like me who hadn't used it before so I absolutely loved it I think it's amazing at putting on my foundation I've really enjoyed it using it for the last year however I can see already from one use I don't know how I think it's just like this curvedness of the top it just put my foundation into my skin a lot like faster and more flawlessly than this flat topped brush did so I've only used it once but so far I think I already like it better than this brush but we'll see I'll keep you posted I'm gonna keep using both of them obviously we will see in the end which one's better but I have a feeling it's gonna be the new one and also they're both incredibly soft but this one somehow feels softer I think it's the, sh the, the domed shape but 
I have no idea. So I will keep you posted. <laughs> I am so excited to welcome this to my brush family. So with that brush, I got a new foundation as well, and it is the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation in the shade Fair 10, and I absolutely love this. I used the brush to blend it in, as you can see, and it just went into my skin so beautifully. It's very, very natural coverage, and it has a slight glow. Like, it's a pretty dewy foundation for me, I'm not gonna lie. I did just use my normal primer as well, so it went on super well over that and blended out so quickly. I think a lot of that could have been to do with the brush as well, to be honest with you though. I think it looks absolutely stunning. I love the coverage it gives me. I obviously use concealer and stuff as well over it, so that sort of covered up the horrible pimple that I have on my face. Apologies for that. My skin's not being nice at the moment, but I really like this foundation and I'm going to keep testing it out for you and I will let you know how I go with it, but I just feel like it looks super natural and super gorgeous. Okay, so next up we have the Fenty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer in the shade Butter Biscuit. I had never used a cream bronzer before and I absolutely loved this. It was very light, which is shocking for me. I think it was the brush that I used because I used my Colourpop fluffy sort of brushy thing and it's quite like sparse so I feel like it delivered the product super evenly and super well to my face but also I just think this is a great product it just glided on over my foundation and everything and looked absolutely stunning and I'm so glad that I finally invested in this product because I have wanted it for so long and it's absolutely stunning in the little case I think it looks absolutely gorgeous and it feels really nice and comfortable like it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything but anyway the next product I got was another product that I didn't purchase from Sephora. It is the the only other product that I didn't purchase for, from Sephora to be honest with you. It is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the anti-aging formula. So this is the one that I just bought the other day actually because my Eden Primer Potion was like starting to smell a bit funny because I've had it open for like three years when you're only supposed to have them open for six months. But that one's worked so well for you so I thought I would just get another one but I wanted to get a different shade and the original shade was sold out so I got the anti-aging one which is a similar shade to the original one but it's a thinner formula which I actually really enjoyed. I feel like it doesn't have as much color coverage as my Eden one did on my eyelid but apart from that I feel like it blended out really well and it's currently holding my eyeshadow really well as well and it feels really comfortable it doesn't hurt my eyes or anything like that. I feel like it blends out super well and it's like lighter it's easier to blend out because it's a thinner formula so that's really nice as well. Okay guys so now we have the Nude Sticks Daydreamer set which was curated by Hilary Duff who I have been a massive fan of since I was a wee little girl watching Lizzie McGuire because Lizzie McGuire was my life when I was a child so I absolutely love her and I've never used nude sticks before I don't think no I have never used nude sticks before and I absolutely love these products. Let me go through what the set comes with. It comes with this absolutely adorable case. Look at it. It's massive. It's stunning. And it says Daydreamer on it, which is super cute. And then it comes with the All Over Face Color Glow in a Half Moon, which it says you can use on face, lips, and eyes. And in this case, I used it to highlight. And I also popped it on my inner corners, just right in the center there for that super big pop of highlight. Next up is the All Over Face Color Matte in the shade Body Language. This is fit to go on your face, lips, and eyes as well. Today, I just used it as a blush, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It's so pigmented and it went on so quickly and blended out really well. I did feel a little bit weird rubbing things in my face instead of using brushes, but I just thought that was the easiest way to get it on. And I was trying to be a bit gentle especially with the highlights to be honest with you because it was a bit tacky so I was worried it would remove some of my foundation but it didn't it went on so nicely which is great next up we have this really cool pencil sharpener which is obviously to use with the lip products because the face products are twist twist up so last up from the set, we have three Magnetic Luminous Eye Colors, and they come in the shade Prism Bright Eyes and Night Dweller. And we also have a lip crayon in the shade Secret Keeper. To make the look that I'm wearing now, I popped bright eyes all over my lid and blended it out with a brush, which I will show you in a minute. And then I popped the prism shade into my inner corner and I blended it with my finger just up the lid a little bit because I was going to use this as my highlight because I thought it was going to be bright enough, but it is quite bright and reflective, but it's not as bright as I thought it was going to be. So I did chuck on the highlighter in the shade Half Moon right in the inner corner 
corners of my eyes just to add that extra like pop of brightness and then I chucked on the shade night dweller I just ran this along my lower lash line and I did at first run it along the top of my lid just a little bit just along my lash line to sort of almost give me an eyeliner effect but I've covered that now with my liquid liner it looked good but I wanted to use the liquid liner as well so and that is how I got this look. <laughs> so next up, we have the Nude Sticks Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm in the shade Secret Keeper. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It's so comfortable, so easy to put on. And it just feels really creamy on my lips right now. I'm wearing it right now because I thought this was the one that went the best with my eye look, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh well. But I like it. I think it's a stunning color and I feel like I'm going to reach for this all the time. I personally love lip products in crayon formats and I've actually really enjoyed using all of these new sticks products in like the crayon-y sort of format. Anyway, so this is a nice discovery for me today. I definitely would recommend this set. It was super expensive. Well, not super expensive, but it was like over $100. But this one was one of the things that I bought that went 50% off and I would had my eye on it for ages. So I was like, I'm just going to get it. I am just going to get it. And I'm so glad that I did because I feel like you can make so many different looks. You don't even have to use every single shade of the eyeshadow crowns every time. I just wanted to use them all to show you like what you can sort of create with it. And I really like the look that I've got with it. I also got this cute as Zoeva Luxe Crease 228 brush in the shade Rose Gold. And I used this to blend out the bright eyes shade from the nude sticks collection into my crease and it worked so well with this product i also blended it over my lid just to like blend it down a little bit but it did such a good job to be honest with you though i feel like i've seen this brush a lot in the beauty community and i thought it would be softer not that it's not soft it's just not the softest brush I've ever touched. Maybe it's just compared to the other new brushes that I got today. So compared to that, it's not that soft, like when it was on my eyelid. But you know what? Now that I'm touching it, it is soft, so I'm a bit confused. But anyway, <laughs> it was really nice and it worked really well. So I am happy about that. And I'm definitely glad that I purchased it because I don't think you can ever have enough fluffy crease brushes. I don't believe you can, honestly. <laughs> so the next product is another brush. I went crazy with the brushes this time, apparently. It is the Tarte Setting Superpower Powder Brush. And it is this absolutely gorgeous gold handled brush with these beautiful soft pink bristles that are just so soft. Like it feels so good rubbing it on my face. So I use this brush with another product that I received in my haul which I actually got for free it was a birthday gift from Sephora because I ordered around the time of my birthday so yay <laughs> free things is always fun but it is the Sephora Beauty Pass present so this is a Kat Von D kit and it comes with the locket setting powder it went on really well I didn't use a ton of it because I'd already applied so many cream products and I was afraid that it would affect them usually I put on setting powder earlier on but because I used so many cream products I had to put it on after them so I did all my makeup in such a way to order today and this is going to be a pain in the ass for me to edit but it's going to be an experience I will tell you that right now but anyway it's in the tiniest little case which is super cute but it went on really well and it doesn't look cakey at all and I feel like it actually blurred out my pores a little bit and it was really like I feel like it made my foundation look really nice especially like down around here I feel like it looks really good because that's where I, I put a lot more powder I think rather than over my cheeks and stuff but anyway, this kit also comes with the Kat Von D tattoo liner in the shade Trooper Black. And it is the texture marker. I actually recently purchased their like ink pot one, which is like a liquid eyeliner as well. And I didn't love that one that much because I find them difficult to use. And I get a lot of that product in my eyelashes and it just does not work with mascara very well. This one, it went on so easily. I drew my wings so quickly and I feel like they look so good. I actually really like that it's mini as well like all of these products are like mini like travel sort of sizes but I actually love that this texture is so small I feel like it made it easier for me to draw on my wings and stuff but I'm, I'm not sure I'm not sure if that's like it'll help everyone but for me I feel like it made it a lot easier and it's very very precise it has a really good product delivery on the eye and I think it works really well and it's so lovely and so black and it's lovely and matte too I actually really like this I'm so glad I got this 
So this pack also came with samples of the Studded Kiss Creme Lipstick. And they were in the shades Outlaw, Lolita and Vampira. And they were absolutely stunning. I tried them all on for you. Just because I never actually really use these. I'm not going to lie. Like when I get given like lip sample things like this, I pretty much never use them. Like I will try them every now and then. But I thought the only time that I was probably going to use them is for a video like this. And since I'm filming it today, I thought I might as well just chuck lip swatches of them in so you could see what they're like. And I actually really liked them all. You can see I just used a lip brush to pop them all on and that worked so well. They're very comfortable and they're very creamy. I didn't wear them for super long because I was just doing swatches during filming for this video. But the whole time I was wearing them, they felt comfortable. It felt like, it didn't feel like anything was really there, but like if I rubbed my lips together, it felt creamy. It was not drying at all or anything like that. So that's really good. I don't know if I'll use these again, but I'm actually considering purchasing them because I really enjoy them. They just looked really nice on my lips. They felt super comfortable and I loved the colors. Like even the Vampire color, which isn't a color that I reach for, even Outlaw to be honest with you. I I feel like they're all a bit like moodier than I'm used to but I really like I liked them and they had such good payoff and they look so good that completes that little pack which I'm really glad that I got especially since it was for free <laughs> amazing. So the next product is another Fenty Beauty product. It is the Gloss Bomb Cream in the shade Fenty Glow. I really wanted to try these. I've only used one of the Gloss Bombs before, but I absolutely loved it. It felt so comfortable. So I wanted to try this out considering that as soon as I saw the swatches, I was like in love with this color and it's absolutely stunning. Like it's a beautiful nude color. Like I love it. I'll probably wear this like almost every day to be honest with you. Like when I reach for a gloss, it's probably going to be this one depending on my mood. But you know, <laughs> it could be. I really like these glosses, but I do really like a lot of glosses. So it's a really nice gloss. It has a great doe foot applicator. It goes on so smoothly. It feels great. It does smell different to the other ones. Like I don't think these ones have as strong a scent as the usual gloss bombs which I will test for you right now. Okay, so this is the original Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. So these ones have like the glitter in it. And this is the cream. You can see they're actually quite different colors, like almost. So up the top we have the cream and down the bottom we have the Gloss Bomb, but they are technically the same shade. So they're both in the shade Fenty Glow. And you can see the top is a bit more pink, whereas the bottom looks more like a much more nudier, like warm brownie sort of color, very neutral. But the original Fenty Glow has like a very strong scent, which I believe is strawberries, but I have a very poor nose, so I could be wrong. I think it smells like strawberries. It smells like something really sweet and delicious, like I want to eat that. But when I opened this one, I didn't think it doesn't smell the same. It definitely doesn't smell the same. It has like the tiniest, tiny scent, but it almost doesn't even have a scent. It smells nice, almost slightly perfumed, but I don't want to eat it. Like the other one smells like I want to eat it. I could not tell you what this one smells like. Maybe it's like vanilla, like a tiny bit, like vanilla -y. Maybe it's like tiny, like super subtle strawberry scent if this is even a strawberry scent <laughs> they're probably like something completely different but anyway i really enjoyed using this lip gloss and i would definitely recommend it if you like the original gloss bombs and you just want something that doesn't have glitter that's just like shiny i think those are great and i think it's a very similar product they feel similar and they're very comfortable and they feel hydrating and moisturizing and everything. That is the lip gloss done. Sorry for trailing off about the scent. But anyway, the last makeup product I have for you today is like luxurious. So it is the Pat McGrath Labs Blitz Trance Lipstick in the shade Skin Sane. I have wanted one of these for so long, but they are so expensive. But look at it. It's so beautiful. It's so luxurious. It just like screams luxury to me. Like even the cardboard packaging with the sparkles, it's just stunning. And I'm so glad that I have it. And it's so comfortable. It looks great. I love the color. It's like sparkly. It's creamy and it feels great and it looks great and I love it so I'm glad that I bought it. <laughs> the final product that I got for you is, well for me, I haven't tried. It is the Youth to the People Superfood Face Mask and I have heard such good things about this face mask. I'm not gonna lie, when I got it and saw the size of it, I was like, 
it's very small considering how expensive it is but I'm assuming you don't need much product so it will last a while but I could be wrong I will keep you posted with this anyway I am very excited to give it a go because I know it has like a lot of great reviews and stuff like that and I do love a good face mask and I can be very picky with them well yeah I can be pretty picky with my face masks I'm not gonna lie I don't know how to explain it I like my skin to feel a certain way after a face mask so we'll see if that one does it. I will be sure to let you know. It might be a little while away before I let you know about it, but I will definitely let you know how I go with it after a few tries, because obviously I don't want to give you like my first impressions like from one use. Oh, well, maybe I do, I don't know. But anyway guys, that is my final product from the haul. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions about any of the things I did or any of the products I used, let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you would like to subscribe or like this video, I would really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you soon. Is a product that I did not get from last year's blush brush. The every day I went on to cultbeauty.com. So every day I went on to dot cult. Ooh, ow. Freestyle cream blunt bronzer. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, bye guys. It is the Tarte Setting Power. Why can't I say anything today? Blah, 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 blah.